Okay, I've got 550 turns. I've put a gurney flap on it, uh, a sixteenth of an inch and a one thirty second. It wants to go left and spiral in. I don't know, it just feels really funky, so... Anyway, let's just see what happens here. That's better. All right. I'm going to just power up and see what happens. Now I've got 720 turns. I gave it just a touch right rudder to help open it up. And We'll see what happens. Alright, well it looks like it's going to go right uh, once the power goes out, but um, I don't know, I'm not sure if the CG is right, it just feels weird and maybe the uh, thrust is like too much down thrust, I don't know. I added a little bit of wingtip weight and that's about it. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay, what the heck? Shouldn't have done that. It had wingtip weight. Hmm. All right. Well, it's starting to get damp. It must be around 8 o'clock, 8.30 almost. Sunset. And um, I went and I changed the thrust. It's less down thrust. Maybe a little bit more right thrust. And I only have 620 turns into it. I'm a little afraid of what it might do. So I'm just going to give it a toss and let's see what happens. Yep. That's more like it. Oh my. Wow. Okay. Well, it looks like it needed a whole lot more right thrust. <laughs> a whole lot more. And, uh, gee, other than that, it just feels really good. Okay, I'm going to go up to 720 and see what happens. I went up to 720 and I took a bit off the tailwheel. So here we go. Wow, I don't have much to say. That's looking really good. Just a tad scalloping, but um, I'm gonna just quickly throw it up one more time and see what she does. My one concern would be that she uh, might 
go straight when I go up more and more in winds. So I've got to be a little aware of that. So I'm going to do uh, 860 turns. I didn't change a thing. I am throwing it in the direction of the long part of the field. So there's like no wind here right now. Here we go. Well, I think because it's getting dark, <laughs> it's uh, having a hard time focusing on it, unfortunately. But, well, this might, this might be the last flight. Um, I'm going with 960 turns. So, yeah, let's give it a shot. Here we go. That's it, slide right. I'd say the CG is off a bit. Wings are damp. Um, kind of risking a lot to be out here right now. And I think that has to be the last flight. Um, and now I could put a little bit of wingtip weight on it to help turn it, but I'm kind of, I'm launching with the breeze, whatever prevailing there is that's out here, I'm launching with it, and you know, when you do that, you're kind of not getting any climb. And twice now I've hit the landing gear on launch, so I don't know, maybe I need to rethink that. First video of the night, 620 turns. I gave it a little up elevator. Okay, um, doesn't feel like she's climbing that much. Maybe I need to uh, add just a bit left rudder and maybe a little bit of tail weight, just a touch. This one I'm up to 640 turns. I've added a little gurney flap on the inboard and I've added a, just a bead of clay on the tail. So we'll see what happens here. Ooh. 
Ooh, not good. Man, that was all over the place. I think the CG is off. It just feels really awkward now. Um, it doesn't seem to be lifting. Almost felt like it was flown with the wind, but still, it doesn't feel like it's solid. 840 turns, didn't do anything to it. I'm just gonna see what happens. All right, I'm just gonna bump it up and see what goes. Keep bumping up the wines. Bottom line, I just feel like maybe the thrust is just slightly off, just slightly off, like it needs to be just a tad up thrust or less down thrust. And if that was the case, it would probably open up and climb. This time I changed the thrust a bit. Less down thrust and maybe a skosh left, less right thrust. Um, it's hard to tell, but anyway, that's what I'm going with and it's 620 turns. So we'll see what happens. I'm throwing it to the big part of the field. All right, that's not bad. All right, I'm gonna power up. I went with a touch left rudder and I went up to 790. Here we go. Starting to get damp. Wow, that looked pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm gonna power up again. Right now, I don't care about any slight trim effects with um, stalls and such. I'm just looking for a clean pattern that holds the right turn, and I think this is doing it. Oh, wow. So that was 790, I'll go up to 890 or 900. This time I went up to 900 turns. I'm a little concerned that I might have a bent prop shaft from the get-go, so I don't know, but I'm just going up in winds. Here we go.
I'm really happy at this point. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, if anything, it might need a little bit less down thrust. It might be just a ticket to get it going more skyward, but I'm a little concerned about the prop, and not the prop, the rubber being so well used, even though it's only at about you know, a little over a third of the power. But I'm still pretty far away from this from this tree line. And there she is. That's that's a couple hundred yards. So I'm gonna give it another shot. This time it's 1020 turns. I added just a small amount of tail weight maybe to get the nose up and we'll see how it goes. Well, I'm saying that's pretty darn good. It's holding a right turn. Very well, in fact. Might have a small scallop, but other than that, I don't think I can complain too much. Um, the only thing I would do now is just make it go up a little bit more. Uh, it's getting damp, so that's one thing it's gonna hold. It's, um, going to weigh it down a bit right now for sure okay final flight of the night 1140 turns I'm not going to do anything else to it I'm just going to give it a toss and hopefully she stays on the field I think she will without too much problem although a little breeze is coming up at this moment so I'm just going to 